I'm gonna show you guys how to use this this thing I found called Infinite Recursions GTS script for Pokemon Black and White or IR GTS BW and what it is is a Python script that allows you to transfer Pokemon to and from retail Nintendo cartridges without the use of another DS or something and the requirement for this right here is Python 2.7 which you can download from the Python website, DS Pokemon game, wireless network, and administrator access to your computer. First of all, you need to make sure you have Python installed. And this is the website. The one I downloaded is called Python 2.7.1 Windows Installer. Just downloaded that and um, This is the website. Let's go down. See, I downloaded this one. I just downloaded it and installed it. And that's it. The other thing you need to download is from this website. This is a zip file called IRGTS BWV 0.03. And when you go to the website, it's on the bottom, that right here. Make sure you download the one that says. BW, which stands for black and white. Focus. No? Okay. When you have downloaded that, just extract it and you have this folder. IRGTS BW. Inside the folder has a script right here. IRGTS BW. Dot PY. Just double click on it. And it should tell you this. Please set your DSS at DNS server to, and then whatever this number says is what you should set your DNS to. And that's how you do it. In your DS game, turn on, turn on the C gear, which mine is on already. I'll turn it off. To turn on the C gear, it's up on the bottom screen. If it's off, you just push the power button right here. And then click yes. And then tap on the screen. And then the C gear turns on. Here, I'll use a different stylus, a brighter one. Hello. Okay. And then in the C gear, click on the one that says online, which is the blue one. And then once you're at this screen, hit this this button right here on the bottom left and it asks you to save oh, wait do you want to choose the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings click yes and then it would ask you to save and then click yes too after it saves it goes to the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection setup when you're here click on this blue button and then whichever connection is the one that you have readily available to you right now um, go to click on that one for me it is connection 3 and then scroll down to where it says right here primary DNS click the edit button next to it and then make sure this number matches what it says on the black box on this screen see this IP just for mine it says 192.168 0.69.103 so I'll put that in here One nine two one six eight six nine one zero three. 3 make sure everything's correct and then hit OK Yeah, this screen just hit OK again. And save settings. And then changes to settings have been saved. Then you can just exit here. So go back. Back. And this should take you back to the game. And at this screen, once you're done with that, click this back button on the bottom right. And then you're ready. Uh, in, the, in the Pokemon Center, on the, on the top floor, it is the top right 
one right there. See? Talk to the person. And then choose the second option, which is global trade. Can't focus. And then click GTS. And click trade. Which is the first one. It'll ask you to save and click yes. When it gets to the screen, it asks you to connect to Wi-Fi connection. You click yes. And what would happen is, um, instead of going to the actual GTS server, it will connect to your computer. And when I'll show you. I'll pause it. <laughs> okay. Um, it took a while because, well, it's still not connected because it, inside this this black box, what you need to do is um, choose an option, which I will choose. It has four options: S, which does send Pokemon to game; R, receive Pokemon from game; M, receive multiple Pokemon from game; and Q, for quit. So the option I'm going to choose is R, which is to receive Pokemon. You just type R and then push enter. And it says ready to receive from NDS. And you just go back to go back to your DS. Then says um, the in the computer it says ready to receive from NDS. It should be connecting to your computer instead of the actual GTS server, which it just did right here. So you can confirm that it actually connected to the your computer by looking at your screen. It says connection established. So now since this, I selected R for receiving Pokemon, it is ready ready to receive Pokemon from my game. And what you do is you just deposit Pokemon as though you were tr you're gonna trade it online. So, like, I want to deposit my Haunter right here. And then you choose a Pokemon that you want, but then you're not actually trading, but then it's required. So, like, when you finish choosing which Pokemon you want to trade it for, it will start checking the status of GTS, but then it will give you this error. It says, that Pokemon may not be offered for trade. One, three, two, six, six. Just push A. And then if you look at your computer, it says right here. Haunter.pkm saves successfully. Returning to main menu. And then it goes back to the options that you can do. So now that my computer has received uh, my Haunter, it will be in the folder where you open that python script it's in the pokemon folder so here's the the pokemon that i just sent hunter.pkm so now i want to see how to um, receive pokemon i mean to send pokemon from the computer to the game so i'll use the s option type s and push enter it says no you must exit the GTS before sending a Pokemon. Fourth generation Pokemon file are currently unsupported. And then enter the path or drag the Pokemon file here. So first it says to exit GTS, so I'll exit it right now. Take you back to the Pokemon Center. Okay, and back on the computer. It says enter the path or drag the Pokemon file here. And since this is the Haunter.pkm, I'll drag it into the black box. And you should enter the path right there. And push enter. Now it says encoding, ready to send. You can now enter the GTS. So on my game, 
I'm gonna enter DTS again. And what happens when you send Pokemon from computer to to the Nintendo DS is that right when you enter, the Pokemon just comes down and then you receive it. Oh yeah, no. Um, when sending the Pokemon from your DS to the computer, your Pokemon is still in your box or your party or wherever it is. It didn't move at all. So this is a way to do Pokemon. Or make clones of Pokemon that you already have if they're good. Okay. What I'm wondering is if the hunter will evolve. <laughs> I guess this is a way to dupe item too because whatever item my hunter was holding, I ha I now have two of it. Let's see, let's exit. <laughs> Maybe it was a lucky egg. It's in the first box. I now have another power inklet. Now this is a Gengar instead of a Hunter compared to this one. Power inklet level 34. 